Ghent. Ghent is a city and a municipality in the Flemish region of Belgium. It is the capital and largest city of the East Flanders province, and the second largest municipality in Belgium, after Antwerp. The city started as a settlement at the confluence of the rivers Skelt and Lee and in the late Middle Ages became one of the largest and richest cities of Northern Europe, with some 50,000 people in 1300. It is a port and university city. The municipality comprises the city of Ghent proper and the surrounding towns of Afsni, Disteldonk, Drongen, Gentbrugge, Bladeberg, Mariakirka, Mendonk, Oestager, Sintemansberg, Sint Denijs Westrum, Sint Kruiswinkel, Wundelgem, and Swynarde. With 260,467 inhabitants in the beginning of 2018, Ghent is Belgium's second largest municipality by number of inhabitants. The metropolitan area, including the outer commuters zone, covers an area of and has a total population of 594,582 as of January 1, 2008, which ranks it as the fourth most populous in Belgium. The current mayor of Ghent, Daniel Termont, leads a coalition of the socialist de Chaparchi Janders, grown and open VLD. The 10 day long Ghent festival, Gentse faced in Dutch, is held every year and attended by about 1 to 1.5 million visitors. Archaeological evidence shows human presence in the region of the confluence of Skelton Lee going back as far as the Stone Age and the Iron Age. Most historians believe that the older name for Ghent, Ganda, is derived from the Celtic word Ganda which means confluence. Other sources connect its name with an obscure deity named Gansha. There are no written records of the Roman period, but archaeological research confirms that the region of Ghent was further inhabited. When the Franks invaded the Roman territories from the end of the 4th century and well into the 5th century, they brought their language with them and Celtic and Latin were replaced by Old Dutch. Around 650, St. Amon founded two abbeys in Ghent, St. Peter's, Blandinium, and St. Bavos Abbey. The city grew from several nuclei, the abbeys and a commercial center. Around 800, Louis the Pious, son of Charlemagne, appointed Einhard, the biographer of Charlemagne, as abbot of both abbeys. In 851 and 879, the city was however attacked and plundered twice by the Vikings. Within the protection of the county of Flanders, the city recovered and flourished from the 11th century, growing to become a small city state. By the 13th century, Ghent was the biggest city in Europe north of the Alps after Paris, it was bigger than Cologne or Moscow. Within the city walls lived up to 65,000 people. The belfry and the towers of the St. Bavo Cathedral and St. Nicholas Church are just a few examples off skyline of the period. The rivers flowed in an area where much land was periodically flooded. These rich grass mearson, water meadows, a word related to the English marsh were ideally suited for herding sheep, the wool of which was used for making cloth. During the Middle Ages Ghent was the leading city for cloth. The wool industry, originally established at Bruges created the first European industrialized zone in Ghent in the High Middle Ages. The mercantile zone was so highly developed that wool had to be imported from Scotland and England. This was one of the reasons for Flanders' good relationship with Scotland and England. Ghent was the birthplace of John of Gaunt, Duke of Lancaster. Trade with England, but not Scotland, suffered significantly during the Hundred Years' War. The city recovered in the 15th century. When Flanders was united with neighboring provinces under the Dukes of Burgundy. High taxes led to a rebellion and eventually the Battle of Gavron 1453, in which Ken suffered a terrible defeat at the hands of Philip the Good. Around this time, the center of political and social importance in the Low Countries started to shift from Flanders, Bruges, Ghent, to Brabant, Antwerp, Brussels, although Ghent continued to play an important role. With Bruges, the city led two revolts against Maximilian of Austria the first monarch of the House of Habsburg to rule Flanders. In 1500, Juan of Castile gave birth to Charles V, who became Holy Roman Emperor and King of Spain. Although native to Ghent, he punished the city after the 1539 revolt of Ghent and obliged the city's nobles to walk in front of the emperor barefoot with a noose, Dutch, strop, around the neck. Since this incident, the people of Ghent have been called stropendragers, noosebearers. St. Bavo Abbey, not to be confused with the nearby St. Bavo Cathedral was abolished, torn down, and replaced with a fortress for royal Spanish troops. Only a small portion of the abbey was spared demolition. The late 16th and the 17th centuries brought devastation because of the Eighty Years' War. The war ended the role of Ghent as a center of international importance. In 1745, 
the city was captured by French forces during the War of the Austrian Succession before being returned to the Empire of Austria under the House of Habsburg following the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle in 1748, when this part of Flanders became known as the Austrian Netherlands until 1815, the exile of the French Emperor Napoleon I, the end of the French Revolutionary and later Napoleonic Wars and the peace treaties arrived at by the Congress of Vienna. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the textile industry flourished again in Ghent. Lievenbauans, having smuggled the industrial and factory machine plans out of England, introduced the first mechanical weaving machine on the European continent in 1800. The Treaty of Ghent, negotiated here and adopted on Christmas Eve 1814, formally ended the War of 1812 between Great Britain and the United States, the North American phase of the Napoleonic Wars. After the Battle of Waterloo, Ghent, and Flanders, previously ruled from the House of Habsburg and Vienna as Austrian Netherlands, became a part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands with the Northern Dutch for 15 years. In this period, Ghent established its own university, 1816, and a new connection to the sea, 1824-27. After the Belgian Revolution, with the loss of port access to the sea for more than a decade, the local economy collapsed and the first Belgian trade union originated in Ghent. In 1913 there was a world exhibition in Ghent. As a preparation for these festivities, the St. Peter's Railway Station was completed in 1912. Ghent was occupied by the Germans in both world wars but escaped severe destruction. The life of the people and the German invaders in Ghent during World War I is described by H. Vent in a tab in Levant H. Gent. In World War II the city was liberated by the British 7th Desert Rats Armored Division and local Belgian fighters on September 6, 1944. After the fusions of municipalities in 1965 and 1977, the city is made up of The climate in this area has mild differences between highs and lows, and there is adequate rainfall year-round. According to the Kutvan Climate Classification System, Ghent has a marine west coast climate, abbreviated CFB on climate maps. Much of the city's medieval architecture remains intact and is remarkably well preserved and restored. Its center is a car-free area. Highlights are the St. Bavo Cathedral with the Ghent altarpiece, the Belfry, the Gravenstein Castle, and the splendid architecture along the old Grassley Harbor. Ghent has established a blend between comfort of living and history, it is not a city museum. The city of Ghent also houses three beguinages and numerous churches including St. Jacob's Church, St. Nicholas Church, St. Michael's Church and St. Stephanus. In the 19th century Ghent's most famous architect, Louis Roland built the University Hall Aula, the Opera House and the main courthouse. Highlights of modern architecture are the university buildings, the Bogantoren or Book Tower, by Henry van de Velde. There are also a few theaters from diverse periods. The Beguinages, as well as the Belfry and adjacent Cloth Hall, were recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites in 1998 and 1999. The Zebra Strat, a social experiment in which an entirely renovated site unites living, economy and culture, can also be found in Ghent. Campo Santo is a famous Catholic burial site of the nobility and artists. Important museums in Ghent are the Museum Vorschon Kunsten, Museum of Fine Arts, with paintings by Hieronymus Bosch, Peter Paul Rubens, and many Flemish masters, the Smack or Stedelijk Museum vor Actual Kunst, City Museum for Contemporary Art, with works of the 20th century, including Joseph Boyce and Andy Warhol and the Design Museum Gent with masterpieces of Victor Orta and Le Corbusier. The Weban Alline, House of the Alline family, was originally a beguinage and is now a museum for folk art where theater and puppet shows for children are presented. The Museum for Industrial Archaeology and Textile Ormiat displays the industrial strength of Ghent with recreations of workshops and stores from the 1800s and original spinning and weaving machines that remain from the time when the building was a weaving mill. The Ghent City Museum Schatz Museum, abbreviated STOM, is committed to recording and explaining the city's past and its inhabitants, and to preserving the present for future generations. In Ghent and other regions of East Flanders, bakeries sell a donut-shaped bun called a mastel, plural mastelin, which is basically a bagel. Mastelin are also called St. Hubert bread, because on the Saint's Feast Day, which is 3rd of November, the bakers bring their batches to the early mass to be blessed. Traditionally, it was thought that blessed mastelin immunized against rabies. Other local delicacies are the praline chocolates from local producers such as Leonidas, the Cubertons or Nozix, Noses, cone-shaped purple jelly-filled candies, Babel Utten, 
babblers, hard butterscotch-like candy, and of course, on the more fiery side, the famous Tirantin, a hot but refined mustard thought is some affinity to French Dijon mustard. Stouffarage is a classic Flemish meat stew, preferably made with a generous addition of brown Trappist, strong Abbey beer, and served with French fries. Vaterzoi is a local stew originally made from freshwater fish caught in the rivers and creeks of Ghent, but nowadays often made with chicken instead of fish. It is usually served Nouvelle Cuisine style, and will be supplemented by a large pot on the side. The city promotes a meat-free day on Thursdays called Donderdag Veggie Dag with vegetarian food being promoted in public canteens for civil servants and elected councillors, in all city-funded schools, and promotion of vegetarian eating options in town, through the distribution of veggie street maps. This campaign is linked to the recognition of the detrimental environmental effects of meat production, which the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has established to represent nearly one-fifth of global greenhouse gas emissions. Ghent has the world's largest number of vegetarian restaurants per capita. The traditional confectionery is the Cuberdon, also known as Noziques or Little Noses. These are conical sweets with a soft center, usually raspberry but other flavors can be found on the many street stalls around the city. Between 2011 and 2015 a feud between two local vendors made international news. The city is host to some big cultural events such as the Gentsy Faston, I Love Techno in Flanders Expo the 10 Days Off Musical Festival, the International Film Festival of Ghent, with the World Soundtrack Awards, and the Also, every five years, an extensive botanical exhibition, Gentsy Floraline takes place in Flanders Expo in Ghent, attracting numerous visitors to the city. The Festival of Flanders had its 50th celebration in 2008. In Ghent it opens with the Ode Gone City festivities that takes place on the second Saturday of September. Some 50 concerts take place in diverse locations throughout the medieval inner city and some 250 international artists perform. Other major Flemish cities hold similar events, all of which form part of the Festival of Flanders, Antwerp with Lo Polyphonie, Bruges with Ma Festival, Brussels with Clara Festival, Limburg with Basilica, Mechelen and Brabant with Nove Cento and Transit. The city of Ghent will co-host the 2020 World Choir Games together with the city of Antwerp. Organized by the Intercultural Tour Foundation, the World Choir Games is the biggest choral competition and festival in the world. The numerous parks in the city can also be considered tourist attractions. Most notably, Ghent boasts the Nature Reserve, Burkonasi Meersen, 230 hectare, and the Recreation Park, Blar Meersen, 87 hectares. The Port of Ghent, in the north of the city, is the third largest port of Belgium. It is accessed by the ghent turnusen Canal, which ends near the Dutch port of Turnusen on the western Scheldt. The port houses, among others, large companies like ArcelorMittal, Volvo Cars, Volvo Trucks, Volvo Parts, Honda, and Stora Enso. The Ghent University and a number of research-oriented companies, such as Ablinx, Inogenetics, Crop Design, and Bayer Crop Science, are situated in the central and southern part of the city. As the largest city in East Flanders, Ghent has many hospitals, schools and shopping streets. Flanders Expo, the biggest event hall in Flanders and the second biggest in Belgium, is also located in Ghent. Tourism is becoming a major employer in the local area. Recently a local businessman donated a substantial amount of money to have all the curbs lowered by two inches in the city. As one of the largest cities in Belgium, Ghent has a highly developed transport system. By car the city is accessible via two motorways. In addition Ghent also has two ringways. The municipality of Ghent comprises five railway stations. Ghent has an extensive network of public transport lines, operated by D-Line. Apart from the city buses mentioned above, Ghent also has numerous regional bus lines connecting it to towns and villages across the province of East Flanders. All of these buses stop in at least one of the city's regional bus hubs at either St. Peter's Station, Damport Station, Zuid or Rabbit. International buses connecting Ghent to other European destinations are usually found at the Damport Station. A couple of private bus companies such as Eurolines, Megabus and Flixbus operate from the Damport bus hub. Buses to and from Belgium's second airport, Brussels South Airport Charleroi, are operated by Flibco, and can be found at the rear exit of the St. Peter's Station. Ghent has the largest designated cyclist area in Europe, with nearly of cycle paths and more than 700 one-way streets, where bikes are allowed to go against the traffic. It also boasts Belgium's first cycle street, 
where cars are considered guests and must stay behind cyclists. In the Belgian first football division Ghent is represented by KAA Gent, who became Belgian football champions for the first time in its history in 2015. Another Ghent football club is KRC Gent Zeehaven, playing in the Belgian fourth division. A football match at the 1920 Summer Olympics was held in Ghent. The Six Days of Ghent, a six-day track cycling race, is held annually, taking place in the Kipke Velodrome in Ghent. In road cycling, the city hosts the start and finish of the Anloop Het Nieuwblad, the traditional opening race of the Cobalt Classic season. It also lends its name to another Cobalt Classic, Gent Wevelgem, although the race now starts in the nearby city of Deans. The city hosts an annual athletics IAAF event in the Flanders Sports Arena. The Indoor Flanders Meeting. Two-time Olympic champion Hisham al garouj seat is still standing world record of 3 48.45 in the mile run in 1997. The Flanders Sports Arena was host to the 2015 Davis Cup final between Belgium and Great Britain. Ghent is twinned with, thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.